Hello ladies and mostly gentlemen, I'm Vinny V and today quick break from the smart booza because my lovely wife loves to renovate rooms from our almost brand new house and she wanted to have those trendy rolling system for my daughter's closet since we're now repenting a room and putting unicorns and glitter everywhere. Physically, I'm limited in space and couldn't make extended rails from both sides of the closet to open the doors. So I decided to design and fabricate one of my own double row sliding door system. I will use this opportunity to explain my standard approach on any type of projects I design. From double row sliding doors to million dollars robot cell, I always, always start the project with a rough sketch by hand. That gives us a visual on what we try to accomplish and sometimes we can draw quickly multiple options before moving on to 3D. It's fast, cheap and unfortunately it's a practice that nowadays people skip and just jump right into computers. And also that gives somebody, I don't know who, the opportunity to draw this on my sketch that I left on my desk. I'm not accusing anybody here. But let's just say that even a very important sketch that I need to present to a client, for sure the d fairy will leave her mark somehow. Once I get a rough idea of what I want, then I jump into the 3D with the confuser. I mostly use SolidWorks, but AutoCAD could be a simpler tool to use if you just want to figure out basic dimensions or if I'm doing a floor layout. I didn't play much with Fusion 360, but I know it could be a great option too. Once I get the approval from my boss, after I made the drawings from the treaty, which then I vigorously slam on my workbench. The sliming part is crucial for the project's success, so don't skip it guys. Alright, so now we're all set, let's build it! Let's use the cutted section from the main shaft of the smart booza that I cut off when I was making her a rear differential. Flashman. 
<laughs> oh yes! Boy, am I glad to be back on machining, grinding and welding steel. Some of you may know, but I've been playing with plastic lately. And with the randomness of the vacuum forming process, it's a f pain in the butt. It is so satisfying to be back working with precise and known methods of fabrication with steel. Good, the wheelie bits are done. Let's build the rail with the quick montage. Had a bit of paint, then we'll put everything together, the wheels, the doors and the rail, and see how it looks. Oh, and if it works. Let's go! Montage. Alright, that's it for me and this quick uh, fun little project. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed being back working with steel. Yeah, because uh, on the next episode I'll be back working on plastic. Yuck. But that's okay, um, the part is for all the vacuum forming I still have to do on the Smart Booza. I don't think I'm gonna include and film that part on the next video. It's kinda boring. You saw it once, you saw it all, right? But what I want to share with you guys is the process of making a complete racing door. From the embedded aluminum structure to the Lexan window and all in between. Good, regarding the design of the sliding doors. I know that typically it's painted matte black and it's a bit more rustic looking. But for this one, I want it to be fun and out of the box for my little girl. So my inspiration was silver stars and hexagonals. 
Yeah, it's maybe not the style I would put in a more classic house like in my living room, but for a young girl's bedroom, I think it fits pretty well. Finally, big shout out to my wife. She was off this week and she pretty much renovated the room all by herself. She also assembled all the IKEA's furniture she bought without any help for myself. N not nothing. So yeah, I think she did an amazing job and I'm very proud of her. All right, so yeah, see you hopefully soon enough for part 22 on the Smart Booza. Oh, and by the way, could you believe that I told my son two years ago that daddy's gonna make videos on YouTube and he's building a smart with a Hayabusa and I was only planning on making, I don't know, five to six videos on that build? Yeah, part 22. But till then, go do something with your hands, your head or both. See you guys. Left to. Let's film. Let's film. Let's film. Okay. Okay. Oui. Tu sais que pratiquement tout ce que je filme là va se retrouver à la fin du vidéo. Oui. Non. C'est zéro naturel.